So I suppose before we do the hair, we actually need to work on the neck a little. So the neck is relatively simple. I'm not going to stress over it too much. Uh, one of the most important things about it is it gives you an opportunity to delineate the edge of the jaw. Okay, see so it is darker to the left here. Right past there, it pretty much disappears into the dark of the hair. And by the way, those of you who have dark hair, you have lucked out in this project. It is much, much easier to put in dark hair than it is to put in light hair. So congratulations on that. Okay, I'm gonna start blending this in. some muscles are kind of bulging. Okay, and I'm going to put some general tone over this large area. And we'll build that a bit at a time. I'm just going to use the big part of my hand so I can very quickly tone that entire region. There we go. Okay. It's not the cleanest, but it gets us some tone down there. Okay, this part's fairly light. I'm not going to spend a whole lot more time on that. I do, this got a little too dark. I think that must have been an eraser line from when we were getting rid of our grid. So I may need to lighten that a touch. There we go. It's progressively darker as it comes over here toward the ear. And then it just sort of rolls completely to black past that point, which we'll have to do with some compressed charcoal in a moment. All right. I'm gonna blend across that line a little bit. We wanna keep this crisp here. We need to get rid of that little white line right there. And after that, we're going to bring a hard dark to establish where the jawline is. Two lights. I'm going to blend across there, and we should have a bit of a shift right about here. Where this goes from being the darker part to where this goes to being the darker part. OK, 
Okay. We need to darken this generally. So I'm bringing in some more compressed charcoal. There we go. All right. Next thing, I'm going to put a medium dark tone over this whole ear area. Because there is no highlight there. The lightest part is at best, oh, it's not even a mid-tone, it's all shadow. Okay, I'm going to reapply a little. And once I feel like I've got that in the neighborhood of being dark enough, I am going to pull out the compressed charcoal and I see there's a shadow under here. There is sort of an amoeba shape where the hole for the inner ear starts. There's some wispy little hairs over here. There's a wrinkle in the ear right there. And then there's the hair outside of it, which is just really dark. Okay. I'm going to use my tortillon in here. This kind of fades out through there. This gets covered by hair. This fades a little bit more into the dark. There's a little bit of a wrinkle right through here. And then there are those wispy hairs right here. They're going to kind of disguise where the ear meets uh, the side of the face. Okay? At this point, you're probably saying, enough already, show me how to do the hair. Okay? So here's the thing to remember about hair. Um, Hair is made up of long, very thin strands, it is true, but overall there are general lights and darks within it, okay? So I'm going to start by showing you what you absolutely should not do. You should not make a bunch of parallel curvy lines, okay? That does not look like hair. Neither does that look like hair, okay? If, I, if you do that, you are going to completely ruin the drawing. So, the only reason I'm doing this is because the hair here is so dark, it's really pretty difficult to mess it up. This is, you'll notice, pretty much the one place where I'm adding charcoal directly to the drawing. So in this drawing, there is a tiny bit of highlight right here and right here. The rest of it is very dark. There's a little highlight over here and over here, but mostly I can get away with filling it in in a very dark fashion. There's a little bit of hair that comes over that edge of the ear. Okay, so very, very dark. All right, next, I'm just gonna start blending that in with my fingers.
Don't leave a really hard line right here. Soften it a little bit. And when you make the marks, you can make them in the general direction of the hair. You just don't want to even show them too much, okay? What I'm going to do next is I'm going to take my eraser and I am going to use it to pull out lines in the direction of where that highlight is. But look at that. I did not take my eraser and draw a long line like that. What I did was I made a series of parallel lines, like hatching, to build the direction of that highlight. Like that, okay? That's about all that's necessary. On the other side, Like so. Down here, it's generally quite dark. I am going to find the back of the neck like this. And then there's a curl that kind of comes in front of the neck a little like that. There's a shadow behind it here. But none of that really matters all that much. Mostly, it's just really dark. Okay. So now I have a general dark tone in there again, and I'm going to pull out this curl. Again, by making a series of hatching marks that describe the direction the hair is going. There's another loop of hair right here. sort of a longer shape because it doesn't curl tightly. And then that clump of hair sort of fans out a little, like so. Otherwise, it's really very dark. I'm going to come back in here with my charcoal and darken the area between that curl and this one and add a little bit more texture like so and re-emphasize this really really dark black area here And I'll blend that in a little bit and I'll work on this side and see you in a second.